2017 USDGC, the shot of the tournament, with Kevin Jones on hole five, the par five took his third shot over the water and it flew like no disc I'd ever seen before. That shot was a grenade. I've been working on it since then and I finally have it down. Let's talk about it. Some people call this shot a Scooby. Those people are wrong. Most people would say a grenade is just an upside down spike hyzer, but that's not really how it flies nor how it's thrown. The most important thing is the grip. The normal way to grip it is with your thumb on the inside of the rim here, but that really hurts my thumb because of the way it comes off. Kevin showed me the way he grips his. He puts his thumb around the rim and then locks it in with his pointer finger. This gives a little bit more pressure, but again, the pressure is coming right at my thumb. So I was trying that one time and I accidentally did it backwards. I put my pointer finger in the rim and locked it in with my thumb. And that actually came out really nice because it's not one pad that it's coming off of. It sort of rips down the side of my pointer finger there. And that's, I can throw that a lot more without any pain. So the shot, now this is why it's not an upside down spike hyzer. A spike hyzer goes up on an angle and it comes down moving a little bit to the left. A grenade goes up flat and it pans and drops ideally straight down. A more stable disc will move to the left a little bit and a less stable disc will actually flip up and glide to the right. But I wouldn't really suggest, suggest using it for that. My maximum distance on a grenade is 260 feet maybe so it's not a distance shot at all and that's throwing it as hard as i can and i can't throw very many during a round because my hand starts to hurt this is a a get out of trouble shot this is when you have no other shot except going directly over whatever you have in front of you and landing straight down on the other side so here's how to throw it most shots that you throw you want to have a lot of spin you put your hand on the outside of the disc and you open up your arm and that generates a lot of spin but the grenade doesn't spin a lot it kind of follows the same path as the second half of a tomahawk but the reason it doesn't pan as much as a tomahawk does is it's not spinning as much i think somebody who might know more about physics can correct me on that but i think that's why so the idea isn't to get rotation on the disc. You don't want to have your hand on the outside. You want to have your hand on the front. Dragging the disc up by the front and throwing it as high as you can is the key. Now it's not on a spike hyzer angle either. I'm not throwing it like this. I'm throwing it flat. It feels like if I were to throw a disc with a regular backhand grip and I just threw it up in the sky like this, it would come straight back down to me. The other key is to throw this shot straight up. I'm trying to throw it as high as I can straight up and over any obstacles because out of my hand is going to start moving forward right away. Then it's going to pan and drop straight down on the other side. So I'm really not putting any forward momentum on it. I'm just trying to throw it up. So for discs, you want to choose a flat and overstable disc. An overstable disc is going to pan slower and that means the disc is going to more, be more likely to drop straight down on the other side and flat because the disc is flying upside down. So more dome generally gives a disc more lift, but if the disc is upside down, that lift is going to be moving downward. So something like an Opto Spark or a Triple X or a Felon or I guess a Criminal is okay. If you find something that's flat and overstable, it's going to work well. That's it. That's all I have for this video. This disc right here is a Warhorse. This is a new West Side disc. It is the most overstable disc in the Trilogy lineup. It's more overstable than a Stiletto. Throw it on an Anheuser full power as into a Kansas headwind and it's gonna come right back. So if you need something like that, I shudder to think the power that someone who needs something like that must have. But if you need something like that, definitely check one out. I'll be giving away one of mine on Patreon this week. So if you want a shot at giving one, join up on Patreon. Also, I have these Frisbees right here, which are the Trilogy Challenge Discs. This is a Latitude 64 Musket the Dynamic Discs Patrol and the West Side Discs Maiden. That's right, these are so bursty, so pretty. Anyway, I will be doing a video on these next week. Uh, I'm trying to think if I need to do a disc review like I've done in the past or a Flint Hills Challenge. So let me know in the comments what you think. I'm leaning towards disc review right now, but I can be swayed either way. So. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Be sure you're subscribed if you're not and check out Facebook. If you're on YouTube, check out YouTube if you're on Facebook and always remember slow is smooth and smooth is far.